I was thinking if I had to make a quote for for a liquor, can't go wrong with the Paul or something. I don't fucking know. Right, something I, that more rhymes though. You might have to get your shit more space a little bit. A little bit more space. Yeah. I mean, I feel like probably if I had to get a Paul or something, saying probably some shit like you never dog with the Paul. <laughs> yeah, like I wanted something that rhymes. Be a man. Turn him down a little bit. But um, back in this bitch. Number one podcast on the earth. Got my niggas with me. That's all I got to say. Run the motherfucking intro. It's just a video. That's why it's just... So it's not It's not like a song I'm about to start playing. Oh, the, it's the Blase Show. Oh, <laughs> That's the Blase Show. <laughs> Nigga, it's not the Blase Show. This is an interview. <laughs> um, today, we got one of my two bestest of friends. Oh, shit. We got the Shawnee the Donnie, and we got Kari from the Ari. Welcome, guys. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Appreciate being here. Thank you yeah, for having us. Definitely a blessing. I'm happy y'all can be here. This is a this is a child come true, child dream come true. <laughs> Big facts. Big facts. Man, I haven't seen you in a minute, bro. Yeah, for real. How y'all been? You guys you might have to come up on your shit a little bit. How y'all been? What's up with y'all? Tell me everything. Tell me about all the bitches you fuck, especially you, Carter. I know your I know your bitch number went up since last time we saw each other. <laughs> I don't want to talk about my fucking love life, bro. Too much. Oh, you in a relationship? No, I just be dragging. Clap it up for the for the draggers. Let's let's not. (laughs) (laughs) Um, no, I've been. I I tell people all the time. I'm taking it one day at a time. Taking it one day at a time. You know, I just been working a lot. Um, just been. Streaming, live streaming, content creation. I've just been doing that more consistently just to keep myself in a good headspace. Mm-hmm. Mm. Yeah, that's a good answer. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. So let's talk about this fucking streaming shit first. I want to get this shit off the table before we talk about any ass. Mm-hmm. When did you start streaming? Do you stream too? I used to. But actually, I'll say I'm on and off. I just got back into it. Yeah. Well,. I started streaming September of last year. Um, I always known Twitch, but I just never like had a chance to actually start. Yeah. So I took a chance on it, um, on a game that <laughs> I say I, I enjoy it, but at the same time, turn them down a little bit, a lot more. Um, I say I enjoy the game, but at the same time, it's like stress inducing. So. I don't know. I just stream that a lot. Been trying to diversify my content a little bit, and then yeah, experiment with more games and stuff. So, what games were you first playing? I was streaming Call of Duty first, and then you know what Overwatch is? No. Okay, it's a team shooter called Overwatch, but it's an off-brand version <laughs> called Paladins. Okay, mm. it's it's a. It's I, a you it's, know what he's talking about? Yeah, I know. Yeah. So I'm out the week. I played it, I played a little it a bit. bit. But not really, it ain't, but. It ain't the most popular game in the world. That's a fair yeah, it's not. It's not, like, popular at all. It's a small ass community, so. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah, I don't know. I was streaming. I was just like, fuck, I just want to fucking bump music and get drunk. Mm-hmm. I was not, like, about to play no type of games. So I don't know why. I don't even play games like that. Like, do y'all play games a lot still? <laughs> yeah. I, I use it just the more so, like, I go through, a, we all go through a lot of shit, you feel me? Hell yeah. I just use video games and shit as an escape. I just feel less stressed when I'm in the zone, not looking at my phone all the time. I'm just less stressed. Mm-hmm. So that's your vice. That's my vice, bro. Do you have a favorite video game that you just like, fuck, I'm going, fuck, shooting ain't want to suck my dick, I go play Call of Duty? No, not really. Not really. I mean, the it's game, the like game that, that I'm playing now... <laughs> That it's called Paladins. I, like I play that shit a lot. Like I got a lot of hours into it, but that's not like something like, oh yeah, take this shit to the grave with me. Like not that type of shit. Yeah, it's, it's, the, it's, the game is it's not the same as it used to be. I mean, so you be on the game still a lot? Yeah, I'm, I mean I be on it every now and then. I just I be out, I be out a lot more than I used to. Be working a lot more than I used to. Mm-hmm. So that's pretty much what. And it's, I just haven't had the motivation or the same drive to really play the game like that that mm-hmm. I used to. Yeah, but, same. I mean, I'm I'm getting back into it. 
just money is a focus right now. I feel like. I Pick. felt that, nigga. I felt that. That's the realest shit you ever said. Shot up. Mm-hmm. Sh- I should have added a goddamn a shot sound effect. <laughs> shot, shot, shot. Yo, for yeah. real. That would have been hard. <laughs> I mean, the grind can go either way. Mm-hmm. Like, I can, I can make it with that, and I can, you know, make it what I'm trying to do now. So. Yeah, we can really do both. Yeah. That's the good thing about it. Mm-hmm. Just gotta find a way to juggle it. Cause I ain't gonna lie, like with the whole cleaning business thing, like I didn't want to do a cleaning business. My father was just trying to fucking pay off his cars. Mm-hmm. He was like, but he didn't tell me that. He was like, he was like, what you want to do? I invested in type shit. And I was like, I want to fucking get my own studio place and do a podcast and all this. This nigga was like, mm, I think you should do a cleaning business. Now I'm here cleaning mm-hmm. fucking cleaning fucking preschools fucking. I gotta wipe the mirrors because the goddamn the finger smudge is so low, nigga. You can't see it. It's fucking kids. I mean, I don't mind clean. I love cleaning though. Like I, I wouldn't mind taking a cleaning job. I ain't gonna hold you. Niggas had that janitorial job like two years ago. That shit was not it. <laughs> yeah, they probably did. They, they definitely like work your ass over that type oh, of yeah. shit. But maybe we wasn't doing shit for real because it, it was a shit to clean. Nobody was in a fucking school. Fair enough. Yeah. That's good. Yeah, now I'm like a fucking personal assistant at like this adult daycare. So like I fucking pass out some food, cut, get, some, get some old ladies to call me sexy a couple times, boost my ego. <laughs> and then fucking this nigga's run. crazy. It's like, no, so, okay. I'm not ready to talk about the bitches yet. I always say that, <laughs> but it's just like a saying. It's, an it's, it's like It's like saying like I'm not ready to get into the juice. Okay, you just want to let shit flow. Mm-hmm. Want to let shit flow first. So, when did you realize that you was a content creator? Once I actually started doing it, if that makes sense. Like, I just put my mind to it. I was just like, it was something new. I was gonna try it out. But once I started doing it, once I started doing it, I started to like gain a little bit of a following. Mm-hmm. Once I seen people actually like tuning into my stuff, I was like, okay. I don't know where this could take me, but it could definitely take me somewhere. Sure. And of course, I'm not up there yet, but I it's a process. Lie. I'm <laughs> jealous. I look at your profile. This nigga already got 100 followers. Yeah, sure. No, <laughs> no, I got 70. That nigga round that up. That is 73. 100. That is a hundred. He was talking about that shit like since like middle school. Like oh, talking yeah. about you know, yeah, yeah, gaming, dreaming, making it, making yeah. a YouTube channel. You know, doing pro league shit, all that shit, but making money off that shit mm-hmm. and now that we finally got around to doing it i'm not gonna say that it's not all that is cracked up because it's definitely not as i would say easy as we thought it as we thought it would be you feel yeah. me you know because i mean what sounds easier than making money off of playing video games you feel me right but it's it's when not you say that, that people just it's like, not huh? that black and white at all and the industry definitely isn't that black and white either yeah. For the people that just tuning in, y'all probably don't know who these people are. This is Sean the Don, aka the best Twitch stream player on the earth. My my alias, well my second name is Salamander, so it's just Salamander. Sean Salamander, you know, the Twitch link will be in the description, sir. Go fuck yes, with sir, my yes, man. Sir, yes, sir, yes, sir. And we got Definitely. Kari the Habari. What's up, what's up? <laughs> you you're not even streaming as much, so I can't even put your stream in my description. I mean shit. I stream, I would say I stream at least like twice, twice a week. Oh, okay. Just I'm just not on the consistent schedule as I was before. I would stream uh-huh. like five days out a week. So, okay. So, we I'm getting there. Be that so how, so y'all, cause I know, I know I really didn't jump into the streaming game. I was streaming for like less than like what, three something months. Mm-hmm. And mm-hmm. I was just fucking around, like just getting drunk on camera. So like, tell me what that Twitch life is like. Sure. I mean. You, you kind of know it. I mean, you you started, I'll say, for me, I, I didn't start with Twitch. Like, I started with this um, this platform called Mixer. Mm-hmm. And before it got taken down, um, I, heard I think, that. yeah, before, before it got taken down, I had, like, I was approaching 600. Damn! Like 600, 650 followers. Let's see, that, that shit crazy. That's crazy. Yeah, I had a, I had a, cool following the community i had was pretty chill but i mean 
that's just astounding. Like, you know how hard it was for me to get 59 subscribers, nigga? And one of them, my mother. Uh, See? I mean, <laughs> hey, I would say that like that. starting you know? off, most of the people that was in my stream, most of the people viewing my shit was friends, was family. Mm -hmm. And eventually, you know, it grew up. It just, I mean, it all depends on really who you network with. Mm -hmm. You know, the bank, the games you decide to play, and the community, it, it just that's that just forges your community, your personality, the games you play, if if you gaming or whatever, if you just chatting, it's just really just your personality. And that's that's what you were doing. You yeah, were, you I was love. Using the just chatting category. Yeah. I love just chatting. That's, that's a popular thing in Twitch. Just yeah. chatting. Mm -hmm. Yep. Shout out to Heisenberg. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yes, <Heisenberg>. sir. <laughs> <laughs> So like, I don't, I don't, I don't really like. So it's, so you basically since y'all Twitch is is it like a fact like you're a Twitch streamer? So that means you got a fucking you built your whole PC like your shit over that bitch. You got lights and shit. Y'all got that? I mean, my shit got mean. my shit got lights, but I ain't <laughs> built my shit. <laughs> shit. Definitely got lights. So I be mean, okay. So Larry, Larry helped me build mine and uh, from school. Yeah, Larry. From, yeah. Larry. Shout out to Larry. Yeah, shout out Larry. Yeah. Shout out Larry. Uh, he helped me build my PC. Uh, the only thing is, I still gotta like upgrade like specific parts and stuff in order for it to like run better, run faster, etc. Yeah, bro. Shit. I feel like I need to do some shit like that because I got an Alienware computer and that shit, bro. See, Alienware they not bad. They just fucking overrated. See that's <laughs> bro. I had a, bro. I had an Alienware computer since yeah. like. 2017 mm -hmm. and like now today like if i shut that bitch down and then i go later and i cut it on like it's gonna take me like 10 minutes just for the internet to open like yeah you might as well sell that bitch for real yeah like, it, i mean this is alien where you probably what you using it for i usually just use it for streaming for real and i might i play like call of duty on it yeah. i love playing my i love cp games I definitely yeah i definitely yeah. sell that shit if you just playing PC games or whatever on there. You're trying to do your work. But I'm fucking prestige on Call of Duty. What am I gonna do? Sure. Get a computer to run it better. Yeah. But that's the that's the that's the dark thing about PC building and all that shit. You gotta put so much money into getting all the actual parts, not even knowing if it's gonna function well or not when you get it. For real. If it don't work, you gotta return it or. Like, spend more money to right the only thing i know about parts is about like the graphics card which is mm -hmm. like it looked like a fan mm -hmm. bro i did not know what i was looking at like the graphics card the fucking yeah that's why i just brought my shit pre-built and just learned about that shit over time yeah so you happy you did that oh yeah I'm definitely into that. I except feel like for it me because now i gotta fucking upgrade my graphics card that shit crazy you really built your shit like a goddamn house yeah <laughs> yo larry all the this yo shout out larry again shout Fuck out larry. <laughs> He always described his fucking human human yeah. Legos, yeah. so I just find yeah. that shit hella funny. Yeah, that's good, bro. That's cool. Yeah, he was. Yeah, that's cool. And Larry was a was a big help with mm -hmm. learning about the PC. Well, I'm giving up a though. bottle. I'm sorry, I just burnt this shit through with my niggas. It's worth it. I'm sorry. <laughs> it's cool. This shit ain't really great. Do shit to me for real, but you be drinking, drinking, huh? I haven't drunk in a minute. I mean, talking about this. Shit. No, I don't be drinking like that. I just got high alcohol tolerance. You got alcohol talent? What the No. <laughs> alcohol tolerance. High alcohol oh, tolerance. Okay, yeah. okay. So basically you alcohol the nigga tolerance. you the nigga that be pouring all the shots and down bitches throat. Shit. Sure. I'ma keep yo, go 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 sit out there in the car. <laughs> Get my girl far away from you, nigga. That's my worst fear. Imagine imagine going to the club, bro, and your girl like is just Nah, I would, I would, uh, I would hate to see that shit. I'm not gonna hold you. Never gonna fuck. I'm not. I, 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 ugh, never mind. Shit, I've had similar, similar occurrences. So you, so you had your bitch in the club getting shots down Porter. Oh yeah. But what they call it? Fucking drive the boat, whatever. Ride the boat. That's the, <laughs> the dumbest shit ever. Fuck Meg the Stallion. The club ain't my forte. <laughs> yeah, I'll say. I'm definitely more of a. Tell a girl pull up with a bottle. That's yeah. your vibe. I'd rather just meet the bitch. Or yeah, no. Yeah, yeah. I didn't. I never really went. I never really went clubbing that much. I only went to like a club like one time, and I wasn't even I like fucking club. I'm not even. I, was I mean, it's a, it's a hit or miss with people. I mean, yeah, no. I find it fun. I just to like, a certain I, extent. Nah, I'm one of them niggas. If I if I'm if I'm gonna be a club goer, like 
I gotta be single. Like I can't be in a relationship. Like yeah, I'm not yeah, going to the club. Like, I agree. Oh no, that's agree. that's dumb. You, yeah. You, <laughs> eventually, you're gonna slip up. Yeah, you setting yourself up for failure at that point. Curry, I ain't gonna lie, yo. This I was gonna wait till till later, but I'll say it now, nigga. You glow up. So I glow up. <laughs> you glow up. I, I glue up. You glow up, nigga, like the cheap key. Uh, uh, <laughs> I still, I still, bro. I ain't gonna lie. When, when nigga, nigga call my phone like, yo, this car. I'm like, what the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> nah, cause we was in the car and shit. And I'm like, I don't know if Chris in there yet. I was like, text him. I had, he text I had him a feeling he was here. I yeah, was I was. I try. I tried to get here like at nine, so y'all we can be on at ten. What the fuck is wrong with that time? Is that time wrong? Let's just say it's eleven. It's eleven oh two. that's just an hour behind. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Um, but yeah, bro, I was definitely, I definitely try to get here like an hour before. That's what I usually try to do. Mm-hmm. But it is hard to do that like during the week when I got clean and shit. Like, nah, that's all good, bro. That's why I'm glad I texted you. I was like, yeah, I'm waiting on Kari, but so I don't know if it's going to be a little late or not. I'm glad you said that though. So I'm like, all right, bet. Peace. Yeah, bro. When you text me that, I was literally leaving the school. Oh, damn. Okay. And it's all the way out like, phew, that shit out Ellicott City or some shit. I don't Jeez. even know. That shit. It's definitely yo. It's I looked up. I looked up to see like what hip hop chickens is around it. Like the nearest one around it was like fucking twenty minutes away. Like it is so crazy. I'm like yo, we do not belong here. It is no. It was nowhere. it was no carry out Chinese spots. It was no liquor stores. That's how you know it's in like fucking you out there. The count yeah, Nigga, you out there, out there. I went to the liquor store there in a bottle. Don't you know how like this part might cost like eleven, twelve dollars? Yeah. Nigga, it costed fifteen, seventeen bucks. Yeah. Shit, the fucking 7 Eleven my way when I'm trying to get leafs. Like the bag was, five pack of bag was cost like 15. 15 oh, hell dollars? No. Yeah, oh. Exit like a motherfucker. Bro, we need to boycott <laughs> something. We need to do something <laughs> like this. Like, this shit is not cool. Yo. I should have closed this. Yeah, Shout out to the Chinese spot up the street, nigga. Y'all got that shit to make a nigga fucking come back, you know what I mean? That shit be smart. Definitely gonna come back. Yo, let me, bro. Tell me why I was I was with my I was about to take my girl home and I stopped at this gas station, gas station, mm-hmm. and this nigga walks up to my car door, opens my car door, and he looks in my car. He's like, I'm like, yo, what the fuck, wrong car? This nigga like, oh, I thought you was my Uber. Then I get to yelling, and I'm like, no, wrong car, wrong Wait, car. Wait, so he opened the driver's seat? No, he opened the back seat. Like, oh, okay, to get into I was about it. to say, how the fuck is it? <laughs> yeah, that's what I was, bro. But then he was like, he started to get mad. Like, he was like, I ain't gonna lie. I thought he was gonna shoot me, bro. I really, like, had a fear for my life. Like, it just, I like, it just, I'm I'm really racist. Like, if a nigga's pants sagging, fucking 993s on, dog tag on, fucking. Typical Baltimore, He nigga. opened my door. He looked at me straight in my eyes, nigga. I was like. Fuck, I hope you can't tell I'm scared. Man. How yeah. do y'all feel about that? Do y'all feel safe in Baltimore? Fuck no. Uh, what? But I don't, I don't let that Fuck shit keep me, in, keep me from making money and shit. Keep me from being out. I, mean, I keep that shit from thing. making me money. Nah, yeah. I can't. Turn him up a little bit. Why you say that? I mean, you, just, you can't just be going out being fearful of what could what could not happen, you know? Like, yeah, this, we live in a we live in a dangerous city. We live in dangerous times. I mean, you see all the shit that's going on right now. But I mean, that's why it's that more it's that more important for everybody to get on their grind and do what they gotta do. You know, get to where they need to be. No cap, this nigga. My my father my father did not want me to get another job with that cleaning business. I was like, nigga, I am broke. It's the middle of the week. Man, <laughs> Right. My family don't even want me working for real. They want me chilling. Chilling? Yeah, they just want me chilling. They want me in the house. For real? All the shit that's going on. I mean, they. That's that's more of my mom's side of the family, but that's just they just want me in. They want me safe. But yeah, I mean, I'm a I'm a grown ass man. I gotta do something. No cap. The way I'm you grown. Answer, the way you answer the phone, nigga. You can you you, you a grown ass man. Nigga, I'm here. Yo, I'm you should have heard I'm this nigga. There, he was he yeah. was so chill. It sounded like he had a Sean. He it sounded like he told Sean to shut up in the back. It was dead <laughs> quiet. It was like it was like yo you yo yo we, it's it's Kari. We here. <laughs> I still got the same voice from fucking middle school. Nah, your voice got weird. Nah, yeah, your voice got deeper. Do you think so? It do sound the same though. I'm not going. <laughs> <laughs> I told you it sound the same. <laughs> yeah. It sound way deeper than me. Okay, so do y'all? All right, as as Twitch streamers, it's a billion Twitch streamers out there streaming games, just chatting. Mm-hmm. Do you like? 
Like, what keeps you streaming? And that's that's a good question because that's what really made me fall off in the first place is that the fact that I had so much other shit in front of me, and but I knew what I had to do with the streaming shit. I had to like with Twitch is it's consistency. That's what yeah. that's what gets you your viewers. That's what get people coming in, followers coming in, and streaming consistently, so people know what to expect from you. People know when you're gonna be on and shit. I wasn't consistent, but I had people coming in just because I would say more so people coming in because I, I like to stream games it's more popular, you feel mm-hmm. me? Like Valorant, um, Call of Duty. Even though I may not enjoy some of them games, I'll stream them anyway and play them anyway, try to get better at it. But and and in a sense that made, it kind of drove me away from it, drove me away from streaming because me trying to get better at these games I really don't enjoy. Oh, hell yeah. Yeah. Nigga, I ain't gonna lie. Like, I, I prestiged in Call of Duty and I was like, fuck, nigga, I beat the game. <laughs> I, I feel you. That's how I beat it. Black Ops 2, get fucking prestige master. How shit, about but... you? You answer the question now. Um, okay, what was the question? My phone. Nigga, how, what, 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 what keeps you, <laughs> what keeps you streaming? Like, knowing that it's a billion of us showing, I fucking, how do you, pronounce? um, is this, how the fuck you say that? What? My name? Oh, Salamander? Salamander. I was about to say Salavoy. I was about to, no, what was I about to say? I was about to say Savoy. Savoy. <laughs> Shout out Savoy. Yo, you know yeah. he went to my high school? For real? Yeah, he wasn't fucking with me. Like. Wasn't y'all cool? I, I guess I mean, not. I don't, he, he wasn't trying to kick it with me, like. You know how niggas is. It's Once cool. everybody hit high school and stuff, it's just like. Nigga, I'm Jesus. I forgive that nigga. Answer the question. <laughs> anyway. Jesus. Uh, um, I don't know. Like Kari said, like once you start getting into it and stuff like that, it just seemed like it's like in like a like an adrenaline high. Like you want to keep on going and stuff like that. Like after your first stream, that's how I feel about YouTube too. Like I've been starting to post YouTube content again. Um, I got two videos out recently that I just posted. What's the channel? Salamander. Uh, you know how I spell Salamander. S A L A. Nigga, I don't know how to spell it. I'm gonna just put it in the description. <laughs> don't worry about this. Don't even and listen. E to has it. a three two R's, but no. I ain't gonna lie. It's the most. I ain't gonna lie. I think it's like so unimportant if a nigga spell out his Instagram, like if it's in the description. True. Like yeah, future plugging right there though. Niggas be like, yeah, follow me on Instagram, Big Daddy Four One O J. That's three J's <laughs> and four Y's <laughs> and two O's. <laughs> I'll be like, nigga, what did you say? <laughs> what did he say? He remember that shit. Bro, I never really, I never really listened to what it, like, when a bitch, like, I remember a bitch was on, like, an interview, and she, like, spelled out her Instagram, and I really went to Instagram and spelled that shit out. I'm like, damn, she was right. Yeah. I just be thinking, like, the way they be saying it, it's just like, bitch, you was, you was not spelling this right. I just hate the fact that people put that, I'm just so tired of Instagram. Fucking I really am. It. Fucking hate it. The only reason why I use my Instagram is just to fucking promote my fucking content out. Bro, if I don't have just streaming nosy. shit, I wouldn't even <laughs> have the internet for real. Cause, no, for real. Like, I just be, I be focused on other shit. I be on yeah. my phone because I made a little bit of a following and shit. Like, mm-hmm. most of my following is gone from Mixer. Like, mm-hmm. anyway, like, I had some yeah, people I that ain't. came over to Twitch, but I ain't promote my shit for real before that shit, that shit got taken down, so... Yeah, I don't even. I don't even like Instagram. Honestly, that shit trash. It's fucking overrated. I don't like. Especially like once you get a certain following, like that shit is trash. Sure. Yeah. Trash. For real. I but, just. I just remember I had like. <laughs> I didn't even have a lot like years ago. I had like a thousand. Next thing I know, I deleted the shit. Get back on. I had like fucking. Six hundred. I'm like, how the fuck did so many people unfollow me? Or was it hella bots and shit? No, that's just like what I feel like it did be hella bots. bots. Bro, like, two, like three, two years ago, I had like 15K, but like, remember they was like deleting hella fake? Mm-hmm. Like, after that happened, I, I think, yeah, a, I think that was probably well, uh, yeah. I had like 11K. I'm like, wow, what the fuck? Where these 5,000 bots <laughs> come from? Like, <laughs> no, <laughs> real shit. Like, that shit is crazy. wild. Mm-hmm. But so, like, what type of, what type of, all right, so you do the streaming. Do you do YouTube? Nah, I made a YouTube account, but I haven't I haven't posted on it yet. What type of content are y'all into posting? 
Like, as far as, like, we know, like, Twitch, like, y'all be doing game and shit. Like, as far as, like, other, like, YouTube. Yeah. Um, just I would gaming. think about vlogging. But yeah, my life is so fucking, like, I'm such a boring person, bro. Nigga, just start, nigga, it is so easy. Like, I, but vlogging, for sure, I would say, um, I mean, I know I just, well, for in my circumstances, the content I've just been posting is just, like, the clips from my stream, so, like, just the gameplay-wise, but, like, I want to do, like, some walkthrough videos or fucking, I don't know. Just some re- in real life you, shit. You could though, definitely like, put niggas on like how to build your own PC. Yeah, I could do yeah, that, but sure if I was more knowledgeable enough to do that shit, because I'm not. Nigga, <laughs> y'all, you can literally learn from YouTube. Like I literally, no I literally learned everything that's set up and how to set it up through YouTube. I was like, how I, I literally started looking up like live streaming podcasts mm-hmm. set up, and then from then it led me to this, and then it like it all trickled down to like a specific item that I needed, like that audio mix I got. Mm-hmm. Right. Nah, I'd be like that, yo. Like, fuck the newspaper nowadays. We got Google. Bro, newspaper? <laughs> I ain't gonna lie. Google. I saw a nigga reading the newspaper like two days ago. And it, it sucked for me because I just, I just, because I, my first job was at the Baltimore Sun, so I'm working with the newspaper and shit. Now I'm working in the building knowing damn well I'm ready to get fucking out of business, sir. <laughs> they already like building like apartments and shit around there for me, so it's like, mm-hmm. shit. I, what the fuck was you doing at the Baltimore Sun? Well, my brother was working there, and I was just like, I need a job. Was you and like, was you like, I what was you doing? Was you like scraping gum off the bottom of the desk? Bro, no. I was fucking, so, this process is weird. So, basically, the newspaper come from a truck, right? Empty the truck. Goes to, like, this machine. It's like a like a lime machine. It got, like, hella heads or whatever. Not bad, bro. Put the machines in there. I mean to blow it in your face. Right, you Put the bro. paper in the machines. They get sent up. Machines, they go out. Then they get into the stacker joint. They, like, stack the papers or whatever. Stack the papers. Somebody else is putting them, stacking them together, like, seven layers high. Assembly line type shit. Yeah, assembly line type shit. Yeah. And then, it's like, uh, like, assembly line as far as, like, you putting the machines in. But, like, when you stacking it seven layers and shit like that, you ain't gonna know what I'm talking about, bro. I, you kind of lost me at seven layers. Yo, it's it's fucking <laughs> slave work, bro. That's all you had slave to say. Work. I should have just said that from the beginning. If you would have asked fucking me, slave work. if you would have asked me, like, yo, well, I, I used to work at UPS. If you would have been like, yo, what would you doing at UPS? Like being a slave, nigga? No, nah, because Frederick Douglass in the flesh. <laughs> the fuck? Because when I say I'm being a slave, they won't be like, how? So then I gotta elaborate. But elaborate would take forever. So. Bro, when I was working at UPS, bro, it was so dangerous. Like, I used to work next to this big, fat, white nigga, so I couldn't even move as much. And the shit was so skinny. And, like, it was like it was like a trap mill, but it was, like, three levels. So, like, on your feet, it's a trap mill. Yeah. On, the, on the middle, it's a trap mill. On the top. Like, nigga, if you make the wrong step, like, you fucking your whole ankle up on that trap mill. Like, uh, niggas, I didn't fuck with UPS. Fuck I worked that. there for, like... Like six months. So you know what I'm talking about. Yeah, I know exactly what you're talking about. I'm fucking with <laughs> this place. You're fucking getting flashbacks. Sure. <laughs> <laughs> okay, okay, so do you see yourself, like, do you see yourself, is this, is, is streaming Twitch and type shit, type things you go like, all right, I'm going to do this for, like, as long as I can, or is it like a, I'm going to do this until I can, like, I grow, and, like, I, I'll be like, oh, I want to do this now, and, like, you hit a ceiling on that. Is it a, is it a ceiling for y'all? On the Twitch thing? No, it's it's never no ceiling with, when it comes to streaming, and that's that's how you gotta look at it if it's something you want to be serious about. Me, yeah. it's like it's just, it's more like a hobby. I feel like I mean, like I said, I would love to get start getting more consistent with it and grow, but it's always gonna be I feel like a hobby until I start making like real income from that shit. And by real income, I mean like you know people out there like Shroud, you know Asu. Did y'all see that shit when they leaked, like, how much Twitch was making? Yeah, I seen that yeah, shit. That's, that's, <laughs> it's ridiculous. Man. Nigga, five million dollars? You know what, man? XQCF number two. Shout out XQCF. I don't know. Who no, I didn't know who none of these niggas was. I was expecting <laughs> to see, like, Aiden Ross, Academics, and T-Pain. Nah, because, nah. I mean, yeah, Aiden yeah. Ross, they, they just, like, he ain't just thought, but... Like, those people that got leaked, like, they've been... Grinding. Since so was twenty, that, oh, yeah. you know, was that, so was that five million like the, from from then up until now, or was that nah, like the last? No, nah, that was from uh, what month was it? It was this year though, a couple months ago. 
from a couple months ago. To, nigga so made, from June to now. What are, what are y'all doing? Oh, you didn't. He didn't even answer the question. What? I said, um, what the fuck did I ask you? You said, um. What keeps me going, right? No, now you answered that. No, you shit. <laughs> <laughs> See, that's probably the first question. Cause I, I, was like, I was like, um, I was like, do, is it a ceiling for you? Oh, mm. oh, um. No, not necessarily, but at the same time, I don't want this to be my career in a sense, because I got like other career ideas in mind, but I just more so like, as far as the enjoyment of the game and how much revenue you can get from it, I just feel like it's a perfect opportunity for me to do something like that and be consistent with it, so I'll just do it, do that for the time being, and then catch on to some career shit. So basically, like, for both of y'all, it's like a hobby. Yeah, yeah, yeah for, like for the hobby, moment. Yeah. I mean, I yeah. feel like that's how you how it's got to be. You can't look at it as no yeah. career when you don't Not have no real traction. Right. Like, right. Yeah, nigga, music is still a hobby for me. Yeah. No cap. That's why, like, after a while, after doing it for X amount of years, like, it got to the point where, like, yo, this shit getting too easy, and I don't like when shit get easy. Mm-hmm. So I'm like, fuck it. I'm going to do something. Like, I just started, like, thinking about, like, what else I can do. And just like from watching, like, like I didn't. This was during the time I was watching like hella podcasts, and then like I just started to realize like, yo, I really feel like I know this person just from watching them an hour every week. Yeah, yeah, that's exactly why I, I hit you. I was like, I'm like I'm interested in doing one because like, I know I do like, you know, people in Baltimore they want to fucking making music is not a problem, but. You know, getting out of Baltimore by doing music or playing sports is just so fucking, in my opinion, cliche. Exactly. So it's like, I just want to do something different. That's like back in World War One when niggas was like, I want to be a doctor. I want to be a lawyer. Mm-hmm. Fuck out of here, nigga. Y'all, none of them niggas is a lawyer. Half of them niggas are crack addicts as we speak. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Big facts. <laughs> blew all that money on that shit. Big facts. No cap, no cap. So you, so you basically want to start your own podcast. I got you, bro. It's a net. It's a podcast listen, network for listen, a reason. Listen, listen. I always wanted to do one, right? But I always want to do one with somebody. I just don't know, like, me being a host. I, I'm just so fucking socially awkward on, as far as like generating topics. And so shit. you see yourself as like a co-host rather than? Oh yeah, for sure. Yeah, I, I, I definitely, I could, I could definitely be co-host. I mean, you, you, you could definitely try out for the Blase show. Oh shit. <laughs> What, what that's gonna be a huge the Blase show. It's gonna be a huge. It's, it's, it's my. It, it was like my own. Like it's my own podcast type shit. Like I right. started it. I li- like the first episode is literally like you can see it. Like it's a video. It's literally in my room. Okay. And then like I started like probably like around like episode five or so. I got like one people I went like the middle school with. Uh, like uh, my home. My, like Antoine, I grew up with him. He cool. Like and all that. And that's my co. That's my co-host. But this nigga got fucking COVID. Literally, he was oh, one. Yeah, I, I see one of your videos. Oh, I called him. Got and Antoine down from COVID. Wow. <laughs> Yo, that nigga. I'm like, what the fuck, bro? The day, the day I uploaded that, the day I was streaming that, this nigga texted me like, he was supposed to pull up, like he was supposed, I was supposed to pick him up and pull him here. And he was basically was like, like yo, he was he texted me like, yo, I'm ninety nine percent sure I got COVID, but if you still want me to pull up, I'm like, what the fuck? <laughs> he was like, I can't smell a taste. I'm like, nigga, get a test. That's, yeah. Man, uh, this nigga said he went to CVS, and he was like, I just got some snacks so I can see if I can taste. Like, nigga, you should have got a COVID yeah. test. Like, you was in CVS. Did you get it? Huh? The did vaccine? Yeah. Yes, vaccinated. Y'all niggas yeah. probably would not be here if I wasn't vaccinated. I was paranoid. Nigga, no, my, I feel you. I my feel parents you. caught COVID. Like, hella people around me caught COVID. Mm-hmm. But they, my, my parents good, though, so. That's good. Real good. good. Shout out to mom and dad. Shout out, shout out. Bro, y'all gotta, bro, y'all gotta definitely. Is you, so if you, if he, if I convince him, do you see yourself being a co-host or do you see yourself being a host? Mm. Because if you want to start a co- podcast, he can be a co-host. I ain't never, <laughs> I ain't never, never thought about, about that. I ain't. Kari, I don't really be looking at podcasts. You go, you you go, you gonna get, a tra- you gonna get traction just from the bitches that you fuck with. I was like, oh, I want to see your podcast. Send it to me. Oh, shit. <laughs> I'm, I, I'm, I I'm really trying. gonna get into these bitches. That's, that's that not like. even. That's not even what I'm trying. I definitely don't want my audience to be bitches I fuck with. I've been looking at that thing for a long ass minute, but I thought you realized that it uh-huh. was. Yeah. I'm, I'm, I'm sweating. I'm like, what the fuck? This what the not fuck? A, not us. A, 
I don't want to smell it. You must be having a good, good cleaning day. <laughs> nigga, I was... Nigga, this is not from... Did I have this when we was cleaning? I did? I probably put this shirt on. It's and probably hella dust and shit. It, no, yeah. I probably... I literally no, that's probably... that's not dust. I'm a green. I literally probably put this shirt on and it's been there. Like, I didn't... I just realized it just now. Hey. One thing I, I do want to say, though, like, about the streaming shit, like, just... <laughs> what what definitely had me hooked on with it is you want the rest? Yeah, I have to. what had me hooked on with that shit was like when you you know when you first got that, I would say over like ten viewers and shit, you know, because usually you start you starting off either. you know are you done? No, uh, fuck no. Shit. <laughs> Make no, no shit. This right. nigga famous. I'm jealous. I don't know. Right. I don't know. Like well, mixer anyway. First time oh, I had man. over. I had, um, they had this shit called Hype Zone. Sometimes oh, they yeah. bring people in, blah, blah, blah. You know, I had, like, over 70, 70-something 70 viewers in my shit I was playing. Hype Zone is basically, like, when they, like, they spotlight, like, a specific streamer or whatever. Mm-hmm. Like, like so if you go to the homepage on the app, it say Hype Zone. You could be one of those people. Yeah. Like, they just, automatically they just Yeah, they just, like it's pretty much people just raid your chat for, like, Certain my Tom had like fifty people staying there for like my whole match during that. I was playing That's this game hard. called Apex Legends. So you basically got into the bag of like, like instead of streaming on Twitch, you you, you streamed on a whole different platform. Well, I wanted to start off with Mixer. I wanted to build my build my audience on Mixer because Mixer was much easier. I say to build you know to network on. I say Twitch. Twitch been around so long, it it really wasn't you know something that was for me was easy to get into, especially when I didn't have a computer at the time and shit, only at my Xbox and shit. Right. So it was definitely um definitely easier for me to do Mixer, and I got my following. Like that first week, I was like I grinded day and night networking and shit. That first week I got like over 150 followers. Fuck. Like, so. That's insane. Nigga, what if we started a streaming app and we started streaming off of it? And we actually made a streaming app? I know how to do a little bit of coding. I always wanted. Yo, uh, I uh, always well, wanted to do that. Let's get in that bag, bro. It's free. You did coding before? Yes, I took a whole cybersecurity class, all that. Stop like, playing, bro. No cap. That's where I started when I got in the, um, a, what's that thing when you fucking two girls at the same time in a relationship? Um, I a, a, po- a, a poly relationship? Yeah, I was in one of those. That's where I met I them girls. You ain't about to say something, though. <laughs> oh, hell no. I didn't want to say two girls, one cup. Like, no. Nigga, did you know two girls is one cup? Like, that's not even real. Like, it was, it was chocolate ice cream. I'm glad. I'm, I'm glad that was... But I, that, that I, I, it was chocolate ice cream. They pumped that, it. That they was put, shy. They, put, was no look at they literally, no they really no put shy. chocolate ice cream in I there. remember that video vividly. That yeah. looked like shit. They put they put they put chocolate ice cream in a, like a needle thing, and they filled it up in this girl asshole, mm. and she shitted it back out. That's just so kind of nasty. That's man. what I'm saying. That's even worse. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's terrible. That's terrible. That's even worse, bro. So, so what you what you doing this oh, Friday? Work. What time you like free and all that? I'm free after fucking. I mean, I get off at four, so I probably be in the house around like six ish. So I probably be three after six, after seven ish. Yeah. So free. if the blase show at like seven or so, you can pull up. Hell yeah. Cool. Definitely, I'll pull up. Yes, sir. What you doing Friday, nigga? Yes, sir. Let's go. I ain't doing shit. Yo, y'all my niggas, bro. I'm trying to keep y'all here. Oh, for, y'all, y'all, y'all my niggas. I'm trying to keep y'all here like as long Wait, as I can. If it's late. No, nah, I'm I'm free. If it's late, I'm free. And during the day, like morning to afternoon, I'm not free at all. Yeah. To be honest, I can just come after work. Yeah. I was. The thing was, is, the thing is, my fucking phone is off right now. Nigga, it's cool. You can literally, I can, you can literally, I can literally tell you like, yo, I'm gonna be here at this time at this place. That's all. That's all I gotta tell you. You be there. All right, bro. That's all you gotta do. Say less. But um, yeah, like, cause I definitely, I definitely see myself having like, I wanna have like a late night show. You know what I mean? Uh, no, that'd be good. That'd be dope. Like, like, I start at 12. Yeah, that'd be cool. 
know what I mean? That, no, that usually I'm. Well, I've been able to look at me like, you crazy, it. nigga. <laughs> she, she know my work schedule. She know I be fucking working. Yeah, usually I'm slumped, at, I'm slumped at 11, but I'll make it if that's. Nigga, get a, get a shot, get a red ball, you good. You ready to go. <laughs> Got you, bro. Got you. Yes, sir. I ain't gonna lie. I'm a little, I'm a little excited Thursday to interview these strippers. Hey, yo, that's actually crazy. I didn't even realize he was doing fucking strippers. That's yo, interesting. Yo, one of them. One of them, she's like a she's she owns a a club. She's a girl and she owns a club. So was she from here? Yeah. And so like all all of your guests has been from here. Yeah. A close friend, like as far. How the fuck did I even ask that? What? That doesn't make sense. <laughs> so far, all the interviews I have right now is personal relationships I have with artists and shit like that. That's that's. I know of D from D from the gutter. Yeah. I, I used to. His school was next to mine. That's my nigga. We, 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 we. That's crazy how I met. This nigga was a whole crip, right? And this nigga, and I met this nigga at like a fucking internship for like information technology. Damn, that's crazy. Like this nigga in a button up shirt every week. And we oh, in, yeah. And we yeah, in this yeah, bitch yeah, working yeah, on computers. Yeah. I, he, he, he was like, he was like, yo, you make music too? Get my Instagram. I look at this nigga Instagram. I'm like, nigga, you a crip? <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> Yeah, that's, that's a, but that's a good, <laughs> but boring profession. I, I feel like. IT. Yeah. Yeah, my mother, my mother got her uh, de- master's degree in IT, and I, and her job is pretty boring. Yeah, my dad uh-huh. did too, but he was in the military. Military. Yeah, yeah my most of my family's military or police. So give me a story right now that your that your peoples gave you from the military. Like, yo, I was walking down the street, this little this little Afghanistan yeah. camp fucking with me, so I shot his bitch ass. Give me something like that. Uh, <laughs> damn. I don't. I can't even remember one off the top. I know my dad. Forty one. Uh huh. I know my dad played um, train with the, train with seals, um, in his basic training. But, I mean, coming out he. He wanted to do SEALs. He was in the Navy. He wanted to do SEALs, but he decided to um, go with IT training. I still can't swim. Study with what? Shit, I, I'm stuck at it too, but... What? Hey. You can swim? <laughs> this nigga weird. He know how to swim. I'm bugging. <laughs> I, wish I, I wish I did, but... What's wrong I'm trying to join the Navy, and that's a fucking... I can swim underwater. That ain't... That don't count, bro. You gotta <laughs> breathe. <laughs> wait, so wait. Yo, wait, so... Let me get this... Wait. We can't swim, Sean. I can't swim. No. I can. I can try. How am I the shortest one, and I can fucking swim? Yeah, Cause you short. That, no. Fuck you. Don't, don't work like do that. You gotta learn extracurricular shit because you short. Bruh, I was doggy paddling for the longest time. Bro. <laughs> Yo, I still. That's how I had to mature. I still got visions of this nigga Sean, like back when we was at Kip. This nigga. Uh, will, <laughs> oh, Chris. This oh nigga, my. God. Well, shout out, shout out, man. Before we go any further, bro. R.I.P. Dion, shout out Fresh Yo, Behavior. Yo, no, yeah. hit me out, hit me. I'm gonna hear you. You gotta hear the story. You gotta hear the story. I was waiting for you to. I was waiting. To, I'm so glad we do this podcast right now. What happened, my nigga? <sighs> all right. So look, all right. You already know how. Rest in, first of all, rest in peace. Do you have the cameras on? Yes. Which camera? In, which camera? That one. Rest in peace, Dion, bro. Rest in peace, Dion. Rest in peace, oh, it's that one. Peace, Yo, check this out, Chris. So I had a dream, right? Mm-hmm. I forgot what happened in the beginning. It was some miscellaneous shit yeah. happened or whatever, whatnot, whatever. Okay, so I was in a car. You know how when you add a red light, you know, I think I was in like a taxi cab or whatnot. Taxi? I don't know what the fuck I was doing in this dream. Fuck, fuck the dream. Nigga Uber. <laughs> so it's I'm at a red light and I look over, I look over to my right. Now you know how you know how back then we tried to do that mindless behavior shit, right? With me, you, Dion and Craig, right? So Shout out Craig. Shout out Craig. Shout out Fortune. Um fucking I I was thinking you know how when you at a like you're just thinking about somebody. Something you like y'all four came up in my head. So Dion was like, he was talking to me. He was like, I'm sorry I couldn't. Um, yo, stop, yo, stop. Yo. Don't do this on camera, bro. I do not like bro. crying on camera. <laughs> I, bro. What'd he say, bro? What'd he he say, was like, bro? he was like, I'm sorry I couldn't be there or whatever like that. And I love you, something like that. As soon as the light turned green, 
I'm I'm going past the green light, but as I'm looking like to my right, all y'all just right there, and then it just slowly fade away. The green lights. Ain't that about a bitch? Yo, we got to Ain't that about a bitch? Bro. We the only niggas, bro. We had Yo, to. Yo, rest in peace, Dion, bro. I think about him. I think about him every day, bro. I think about when we had a, we. I think about him every day, bro. I think about when we used to have, when we used to have, we had a project together. This nigga was like, yo, he was like, what if we did a project on hot? Don't you remember hot the hot fries? Yeah. He was like, yo, what if we did a project on the hot fries? <laughs> I just remember like I think 2018, 2019, um, my ex was still like living at her old, at her old house or whatever. And I think me and Craig was very smoke or whatever. I think we was very linked up with Dion. But I think Dion, he was like, um, I don't know. He had some shit planned. I think his mother, some shit. But we were supposed to see him that day. And then I guess a couple months or a year ago later, nigga passed away. Man, Dion, I didn't want to take a sad like that, but cool, I was bro. like, bro, I... I, that was, I was gonna, I needed to tell if you, you that if shit, you didn't bro. if you didn't bring it up I was gonna bring him up either anyway because like yeah bro like if Dion was never like if I would have never met Dion I would I would probably wouldn't be rapping right now like he was he was my he I was I was Quavo when he was fucking takeoff like it meant everything to me bro mm-hmm. hey, Dion meant everything to me but Dion we love you. I hope you you that nigga. He probably he probably smoking a black with fucking Tupac right now. He gotta be smoking a black. Yo, right I, I'm. Dion that nigga man And it just sucked to see I don't wanna take this podcast Into it Fuck it bro Do it I'll veer right but like, veer, veer that right nigga <laughs> But like I don't know we've, we've been losing like The last person we lost Is Amaya Rest Hell in peace yeah. Amaya man Rest in peace shorty We lost Amaya I ain't gonna we lie We lost Dion We lost Kendrick Bro Kendrick Tavon we lost Tavon. I remember. Oh my like, God, what? Tavon is dead. Nigga, like, Tavon is dead, Kari. Tavon, like Kendrick Brown. I was never the. I, I never was that close to Tavon, Dion. Oh. I, I was close to mine, hmm. but like, that just, shit, that shit hit me. I'm not gonna lie, like I, I was, I was, I was in the DM, mm-hmm. and like we was talking, and she stopped answering. Like, then that shit came out. Yeah, it's just pretty much the same shit. I mean, it was uh, no, it was a month between that. Man, I just remember the one time I think Fourth of July, not Fourth of July, but Car. I think that time we when we went out to the harbor that one time. Mm. Me, you, and uh. Oh, oh yeah, yeah. And when we went out to the harbor and shit that day, uh, we was on Federal talking, Hill and shit. Yeah, yeah, we went to Federal Hill and shit. And me and my my ex, mm-hmm. we uh. Went to the, I went to take her to get her nails done or whatever. And I seen her, but I didn't speak to her. But mm. then when I heard, she, I was like, oh, I should have spoke. Nah, uh, yeah, man. I mean, that's how you. That's how you always gonna feel. Mm-hmm. <laughs> that's how you always gonna feel. Uh, I feel like I feel like I could have been way more transparent and way more closer to Dion. You know. Mm-hmm. So I feel the same way. Yeah, I mean that's a, that's a, that's the thing about everybody you lose is close to you. I mean you 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 want to do you feel like you could have done more, especially when they gone. Yeah, man. yeah, bro. Shit. Bro. Yo, can you pause the uh? Can you pause it? Peace, man. Unfortunately, no cap. Nah, that's just that's just how the world going for her, right? so. That shit crazy, bro. So how did how did y'all like? How did y'all deal with that shit? Like, as far as like losing close people. Well, I was telling Kari off camera, fucking, I lost. Last year, I lost my stepfather. It was my actual. Well, I called him my father because he always been there. And then just a month ago, I lost my actual father. So it's been. I don't know. That's why I always tell everybody taking it one day at a time because you just never know. What the fuck you can expect nowadays, especially living in this fucking city, you know what I mean? So, like, all you gotta do is fucking stay strong for real. How about you, nigga? Sure. I lost so many, I lost so many people in the past few years. I mean, that shit numbs you. But, like, you gotta, I mean, I say for me, it got harder each time, even though I, like, I would think it would get easier. 
but you just gotta look at that shit in uh, a different manner. You can't, you, I mean, it's always gonna hurt you, you feel me? But you gotta look at it a pos- out, out, in a positive outlook. Like, you know, that person dead, but like, like if they was alive, what would you be doing? You still be, they'll still be going. They'll still be trying to make moves, do what they trying to do. Hell yeah. So that's what I'm, that's what I'm going to do, you know. Yeah. In their man. memory or whatever. Yeah, man. Yeah, I just feel I'm, I'm low key jealous of them people. You know what I mean? Like, nigga, they don't gotta worry about getting sick no more. Nah, nah, real shit. They don't gotta worry about getting that nut off no more. Oh yeah. <laughs> but at the same time, they not alive. They can't do nothing. Bro, so. that's the best thing you can. That's bro, you can do everything you did, bro. Mm. No, you can't do nothing. That's how I see it. Do you really think that? I really think that. I don't think. I think once you dead, you dead. I mean, everybody got their own beliefs and shit. You yeah. feel me? But like, and I don't, and I don't downplay nobody. But yeah, me, me personally, I feel like when you die, like I feel like you just, you just, you, you forever, you in this dream that you can, that you can control. That's what I feel. I don't feel like you go to heaven or hell. And you know that's I mean? that is a interesting take. Yeah, I've heard takes like I don't even know if it's even a fucking hot take. We can probably. I could have fixed that a long time ago. Oh shit! This shit is loose. <laughs> oh shit! That shit's spinning. John, what the fuck? Okay, microphone, do your thing. Yo, John, don't be giving a fuck about his equipment. He just be leaving. That's it. why I've, I've been leaning in more. Is it righty tighty, lefty loosey? Yeah, I don't fucking know. Fuck. Try left. No, try right. <laughs> oh, it's left. It's left. It's, it's left. left. It's left. It's left. Yeah. Nigga, this shit's still not. Is it this one? What the fuck? All right, that's better. My bad, bro. I lost my fucking train of thought. I'm not gonna hold you. It's cool, nigga. Let's let's fucking, just let's yeah. just get off this whole yeah, topic, ahead. bro. <laughs> fuck this topic. <laughs> <laughs> let's talk about some bitches. Yeah. Kari, it's your turn. Yeah, I ain't got that. What's the glow up like? Oh, shit. What's the what's the glow up like? I know. I mean, you, you you. I ain't gonna lie. You had your low amount of bitches in back in middle school. What what is it like now since then? <laughs> Tell update a nigga. Shit. Cause I had no bitches. None of the bitches wanted to fuck with me in middle school. Remember? None of them. Nah, big fat. I'm not even going front. Niggas want fuck with you now. Bro. I barely, I <laughs> barely remember middle school. I'm not even going front to you. <laughs> like, me, me too. Like, yo, Jimmy, tell the story. <laughs> <laughs> what? <laughs> what story? She so I'm about to leave. The leak. fucking dog. <laughs> Keep it up with the kid, yo. I think he wasn't in a grade at that point. Oh yeah, but Kari. <laughs> <laughs> like, bro, I'm man, Kari, I don't know. Man, Kari got into it. Oh yeah, you know what Kari got into it. Oh, he was beefing. He got into it. I think I remember that. Oh, yeah, I think we, I remember we, we, that. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I think I remember that a little bit. I we, think I remember. Was, that. <laughs> yeah, that's a good beef, story, yo. We was beefing over a fucking frisbee, right? Yeah, fucking frisbee, frisbee, frisbee game, game bro. and shit. Fucking frisbee. Game. Oh my god, that was so fucking. Nigga say he was gonna stab me, bro. Right. I was on some. <laughs> he I said was, he was gonna stab me. I was, accidentally I t- brought the knife straight, into his bag. Straight. All right, yo, I'm gonna I'm gonna tell you how this shit went. Niggas, he's about to kill your ass. Hell, right, you're right. I ain't going to dice my ass. I was on some wild shit, but I mean. <laughs> this nigga Nick, say he was about to stab him and kill. Yo, we was we was I was walking down from. You know where the fucking um, the lacrosse field is, right? Yeah, yeah. Yeah. So he was walking down from the cross. He was playing frisbee on the cross field. I'm talking about. I'm ready to leave out. I'm ready to dip. I'm ready to go home. Bro was like, he was like, all right. So bro coming down. He coming down from the field. I'm still out there. It's like 40 minutes after, or like an hour after I said that shit. I'm still sitting out there. Bro, like you lying, bro. You lying. You wasn't ready to dip. I'm like. Yo, I'm waiting on my mom's. I don't know. We just started arguing this. I don't know some shit. Because you. Said- anyway, niggas. Niggas, niggas was lying. <laughs> niggas was lying, chat. We fucking. Yo said chat. I get home. I get home, bro. Bro posting some shit talking about. I hate when I hate when niggas lying or some, or some shit. I'm like. Fuck this! I've said, yo, we sat here. Yo. I think, yo, did we argue in a comment section? For like a whole, we, for we, like we comment like a minutes. whole five minutes and shit. Oh hell no, bro! I said, I, it was, was it like paragraphs or was it like nigga you a bitch? Nah, we, we I forgot. it was just 
I don't even Niggas fucking I don't wilding. even know. We was just wilding in the comment section with some weird shit. Like really internet beefing, just typing fast as shit. I'm sitting here <laughs> typing fast. I po- I posted some shit like some I like some somebody already died right. tomorrow or some shit. Oh hell no. I'm like <laughs> I straight, I straight like I'm at I'm I'm sitting here at night I'm fucking I got the I'm saying I got the knife in my hand and shit I'm like I'm ready I'm ready to shank this nigga while I see him. Nigga said Bro, he gonna shank me though. Bro, he I put gonna the, shank Sean to show yeah. this nigga is cool. Nigga said he gonna kill me. <laughs> over over a frisbee. Bro, I brought the I put the knife in my book bag. I woke up in the morning I'm like, man, this is some bullshit. I'm not ready to kill a nigga over this. Came to school. I forgot to take the <laughs> forgot to take the knife up. Yo, book back. why do I remember this a little bit? Like, yo, I think because yo, this. because it was a whole it was a whole scene with everybody. This nigga accidentally brings the knife. Wasn't right. even intentionally trying to kill me at this right. point. I'm over here. I straight forgot about this. Shit. I'm straight. I'm in the fucking. I'm in a. You know how they everybody in the lunchroom and shit in the morning. So sitting in there. I see this nigga Sean walk in. We lock eyes. He walk away. I'm like, all right. I'm sitting here. I'm chilling. Mr. Norho walk up to me. He like, he like, can I speak to you? I'm like, fuck. <laughs> fuck that nigga Norho. <laughs> shout out Norho. Fuck that nigga. Uh, shout out Norho. Shout out Norho. Nor- Nor- that was my. That was, he 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 got me through a lot. I ain't going front. Nah, real shit though. Got me through a lot. Maybe it's because I was always in the improvement zone. I was always in the improvement zone improvement too. Zone he was like two, three times. <laughs> That shit was terrible. I remember the first time this nigga got in the improvement zone. He was hitting me like, "Yo, my life over." <laughs> <laughs> like, if you don't know, if, 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 you, if you don't know, guys, is it, which camera is it? If yeah. you don't know, guys, the, the improvement okay, zone the in middle school is a disciplinary zone. So, like, if you're in the improvement zone, Definitely. you you gotta sit with these people at lunch. Like, you gotta remember when, bro. I, I wish I still had my Facebook right now. You couldn't, you couldn't go on no fucking field trips. I remember this one time we was in the Prima Zone. I think we was in the office. Me, you, fucking, me, you, Takira, Dayana, and Ta-Kira. shit. Takira, we was fucking. I always wanted to fuck her. Oh right? yeah, wow. like I got some of your pictures on my Facebook because I used to always take some shit, bro. <laughs> Them throwbacks on my Facebook. Right, Link in the description. Yo, they are fucking. <laughs> Throw the bro. throwbacks. Oh yeah, we had hella girls and kept them. Hella bitches. Uh, yeah. Definitely. Most Bruh. definitely. I ain't gonna lie, the girl I always wanted to fuck in middle school was Diamond. Diamond? You yeah. talking about Diamond Man? Yeah. yeah. I always wanted to dog. He had some fat ass titties. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry, she probably looking at this right now. You better. You better. Yo, she followed my Instagram. Yeah, it's it's truth in the you notion, but I mean, but she got she happy with her That's her nigga. man right now, I think. I she got don't she got a kid? <clears throat> I don't I'm know. Not sure. I don't know. I remember I remember once I first got like fifteen K, like I DM'd her. And she never answered. I what was know. that? What was that other girl? She got like the OnlyFans now? What was her name? I don't know. It's like it's a couple it's a couple of girls from Kip that got exactly. OnlyFans. The girl the girl with about. the dreadlock? Mm-hmm. I know you talking about. Bro, I was telling her about like I was telling her like, yo, it was this girl Jesus I went back in middle Christ. it was this girl I went back in middle school with. If she start if she started the OnlyFans, I low key was I was low key think I was about to buy that shit. Mean. Shit, I don't know. I, feel, I ain't, I ain't buying no OnlyFans. No, shit. It, it, y'all, it, it, y'all know who I'm talking about, though. I know who exactly who you're talking it's about, so but many, I don't think we so can many name females popping it's the, in my it's mind. The light skin girl. Yo, it's fucking. What's her name, bro? Egypt. You know her name? Nah. Egypt. Egypt started her OnlyFans. No, no. no. <laughs> I was about to be like that skinny ass. Highly doubt this. Nah, shit. I don't, I don't know. Doubt. I don't know about that. I ain't. Nah. I ain't even seen Egypt Instagram. Um, I don't know that girl. Um, Tay John. Tay John. Tay John? Yeah, I think, yeah. Mm. I don't know. I, I think ain't. that's it. I never was close with her because she was never. She wasn't fucking with me then, and she wasn't fucking with me now. I mean, I ain't never. Mm. I definitely tried to press her like recently. Not like recently, probably about like a couple months ago type shit. Mm-hmm. She was like, no. Nah. In my I don't face. know if she, you know what Bitch. I'm saying. I don't, I, yo, I don't really follow nobody from Kip no more. Not like nothing against them. It's just, I, I just remember eighth grade when we was talking about high schools to go to. He was like, Sean, what you gonna do at the house uh, at the middle school? I said, I'm gonna be MIA, <laughs> <laughs> nigga. That's how I carry myself every fucking day. I, did, I don't think I, I did. I finish there. Well, I left. Did you? I think I left. Like no, you left. Yeah, you left. Yeah, I, I, I left. left in eighth grade. <clears throat> yeah. Both of y'all left. 
Yeah, I left. Where did you go after that? I went to Woodlawn. Woodlawn Middle? Yeah. No, Woodlawn High. Wait, wait, no, Woodlawn Middle, right, right, right. I school. went to Woodlawn Middle. So, like, did I see you there? No, nah, I was barely in school, bro. Oh. I, I think I went. Yo, so I y'all think probably could have went. I, I think I went. I was not going to school. Bro, I think I went to like two classes, and I ain't going. Not, I, somehow I still passed, but I, I ain't going. No, I, think I was just out. We was out. Nigga, I definitely like right after Kip, I went with, I went to Woodlawn Middle. I was there every day. I was that nigga, too. They probably would have, yo, you know Blase? Man, that's, <laughs> that's the thing. Everybody, so you know many Blase? people knew me at Woodlawn. <laughs> So many people knew me at Woodlawn. I didn't want to be in that bitch anyway. I was just hanging with some niggas I knew. Um, it's cr- I remember that like niggas was like I was talking about I was probably talking about you like some specific time. Niggas like oh you talking about Kari? And I remember yeah, they hell, was trying hella, to hella ex- niggas knew me. I was like no nah, y'all know Kari like y'all niggas lying. Niggas is no nah, it was them most guys. most of the people that went to Woodlawn Middle is people that went to my elementary school. Mm. So. Oh, yeah. Niggas definitely knew me because I was wild in elementary school. Niggas was wild. Smacking niggas. I do not niggas miss being in, like that. I do not miss being in the improvement zone. <laughs> I can't nah. believe they really had Kip. I can't. You think is Kip still got like the little paycheck shits that they got? I have no fucking idea now. They had a whole different building now, so I don't know what the fuck they doing. Nigga, like at the end of the week, you had to give your mother this paycheck for people that's just listening. Is it this one? For people that's just listening, like, um, what the fuck? I'm, oh, the imprimis zone. Okay. Basically, you got in this imprimis zone, and once you, like, nigga, what, what was it, like, five, three infractions? Five infractions, yeah. Five infractions, meaning, like, five times the teacher told you, like, yo, you talking too much. That meant, like, five times after that, you was in the imprimis zone. That meant you got to sit at a certain spot at the table. Nigga, you looking like, nigga, yo, when you used to... And Kip, when you was in the imprimis zone, like niggas really looked down on you. Like nigga, you in the imprimis zone? I ain't give a fuck. Fucking peasant. Get the fuck fuck out of here. I'm a, I'm a good student. Get out of here. I ain't give a fuck about nothing. I just wanted to go to the end of the year, end of the year field lessons, and the imprimis zone just prevented everybody from <laughs> only going went to the, Only went the one. That was the Wait, fucking eighth grade you, one. Do you remember when the first? You went to a end of the field one, and it was the eighth grade one. I could have went to the fifth grade, but my fucking. Mother, my father. I didn't go to one. I don't think I went to one. I didn't go to one, bro. Yeah, I was always in the premium zone. Avery Gary was the best. So, well, I don't know that because I was the only one I so, went to, but it was good. So, do you remember the first time you was in the premium zone? Like, fuck, what I'm going to do? I think I was in the premium zone with some dumb shit. I forgot. <laughs> I think I remember. I think I remember you literally saying them exact yeah, words. Yeah, I think I was running, some dumb shit. Running, some dumb running shit. in the hallway <laughs> or some shit. Like, I don't know. Fucking laughing at, laughing at Mr. Normal Club or some shit. That was the only time, bro. That was the only time. You know the only nigga I fuck with? What was the nigga that I... What was the nigga that turned into principal? Lucas. That was my Mr. nigga. Mr. Lucas. Mr. Uh, Lucas. Shout out Mr. Lucas. Shout out Mr. Lucas. You know Mr. Lucas? Oh, yeah. Shout most definitely. Mr. Lucas, yo, Mr. Man. Lucas is my father. No cap. I love him, yo. I miss him so much. He didn't he... Um, no, that was... Mr. You remember... Man, what was, what was a guy that mis- looked like Mr. Lucas that became the um, principal at them? Mr. Sean Bacher, you remember him? I think Mr. Lucas did, did Mr. Lucas go to Green Street, or was that somebody else? He went. Else? He, went he went to be principal somewhere. Yeah, I think it was going. Green Street, where um Larry. Because I remember Larry saying, either Mr. Lucas or Mr. Sean Bucker. I don't know. I don't know who the fuck is a Sean Bucker. Yo, he looked exactly like Mr. L- he looked like his brother. I think that was his brother. I swear to God. Sean you know, Bacca you Lucas. know who's still my friend on Facebook? Who? Mr. Stapleton. Shout yeah. out Mr. Stapleton, man. Sure. I don't think I follow him on Instagram, too. Shout yeah, out Stapleton. I barely knew him. He was cool as fuck. He was cool as fuck. Yeah. I remember... Love I remember, him, too, bro. I remember when I when he first... Like, he was the first person I knew that, like, went... Like, I never knew... I never heard of Scott Dobbin until I met him. Mm-hmm. This nigga had a picture of him jumping out of the plane. I was like... Bro, he always... That was his, like... His default show, like... Yeah, kid, kids, I'm gonna show you this. No cap. The same picture oh, yeah. every same fucking picture. time. I was like, nigga, like, how, when I first saw that, I was like, nigga, how are you here? Like, you jumped out of a plane. You should be dead by now. I got some pictures of me skydiving. You went skydiving because of Mr. Stapleton? No, I've been skydiving because my man's Eric let me, let me go. Shout out, shout out to my, my rapper, Eric. He a rapper? Oh, yeah. Eric, Eric. Bro. You better plug him in so you get an interview on him. Whole whole OTB game be rapping. Be making beats. Be rapping, making beats. Like Eric, Eric. I cannot comprehend. Like, I don't. Who's Eric? Um, I, I'm I'm positive if you see him. You he, know who the fuck. You, you see is. if you see him, you know. Was he who Charles' he is. little brother? No. 
Nah, I don't know, man. You gotta yeah. send me the IG. Yeah, I, I'll send you his Instagram. Cool, cool. Yeah, bro, um, we'll be rapping. Hey, it, Sam, you know. Is it anything that y'all have coming out or something that you want to promote? Well, I'm going to just promote my channels and stuff since I'm being more consistent now. Uh, catch me on YouTube at Salamander. Like I said, all caps. He is at three, two R's. Catch my Twitch, twitch.tv slash Salamander with an underscore. He has a 3 2 hours. Nigga, the YouTube and the Twitch is going to be in the description. I got you. Yeah, most, most definitely. Blase got me, so you know. Yeah, fucking shit. I don't be. I'm going to get back into it. it ain't going to be now. I'm going to say that. But I'll put and, your shit in the and, description. And, uh, just in case. I say in a week or say in a week or two. Yeah, I'll, I'm going to get back to editing, get back to posting and shit. Follow me, Delta, Delta.na. Oh, shit, follow my main Instagram, underscore options. Yes, with a zero. I'm not gonna lie, bro. After after middle school, bro, I was fucking with this girl. Like this was like during college. Like this was my first year doing college. I was fucking with this girl, and nigga, she was liking your pictures. I was like, yeah. who the fuck? Yeah, I don't, shit, I don't, who? Paris. Paris. Paris Hilton. No, no, no. Damn, I don't, I don't oh, remember who that this is. This nigga probably fucked my bitch. He don't even remember. That's crazy. <laughs> Don't do it like that. Oh, Paris. Like oh, I know you talking about. <laughs> oh, Paris. Shout out Paris, I guess. Yo, was she was she was he hitting you up, yo? Nah, I ain't never I know who you talking about. Did I follow her? You follow my bitch. That's crazy. That, bro. You supposed I, to be my man. I, I knew her before. I don't I don't even think she was with you, bro. Oh yeah. She was with my man's. Damn, she so was, you was so you was fucking with her when she, she was with her. Man, I, I ain't never, I ain't never fucked with her. She no. was a hoe, bro. Yeah, and I ain't never fucked with her, okay. but she fucked with my man. So did, did you know she was a hoe? mania. Nah, I ain't. I thought she was. I thought she was just cute. She is. And I just, she I just followed her like Fair that <laughs> Nigga, by the time I got to her, she was like, shit, I'm almost at twenty bodies. Damn. That's, this is the first year. This, go. this is the first year of college. I'm, I'm, a, I was a hoe during it, so I was, I was like, okay. When the bitch told me that she had that type, that type of bodies, I was like, okay, so I can cheat on you. <laughs> that I was mean, basically the first thing that went through my head. I mean, shit. If, if, if it was allowed, then I, necessarily I don't that, definitely. Right. You probably would have did that shit. It, it wasn't allowed, nigga. I just got away with it. Shout out to Paris, though. Yeah, bitch. Shout out Paris. No, don't shout that. Paris, bitch. no Matter of fact. <laughs> oh yo, she yo she <laughs> nigga she uh not nah, mind bro whopping it here uh yeah we can't do that um um thank you for tuning in this this camera thank you for tuning in for another episode got my niggas with me he'll probably be back Friday he'll probably be back a different Friday I hope to be back Friday. but both of them my niggas man maybe. I love them dearly I love them more sometimes I love them more than I love my mother but fuck it I said it's like no I'm playing I love sure. you mom I love you mom I'm playing yes sir yes sir. <laughs> Sign on, but we out this bitch, number one podcast in the motherfucking earth, and we'll be back.